Hello everyone, it's me again Morgan and welcome back to another video log of mine. In this video, I will be walking you through a step-by-step -step process of how I was able to self-review for NMAT. A short story about my NMAT experience is that I only actually got to study for about two weeks or about one and a half week at most. That is because I was a fourth year nursing student at that time, that was in the year 2017. And we actually had a hectic schedule and also I just did not really prioritize studying for Emma at that time. However, amidst the circumstances that I was in, I was still able to get a pretty good score if I should say so myself. So without further ado, let us get to those steps. We have to know what we're up against, right? So in this case, internet is our friend. Back in my time, I actually searched through Google and also Facebook, and I was able to find a lot of articles about tips and tricks on how to get a high NMAT score. However, in this period, we already have YouTube, and there are a lot of YouTubers out there who shared also their experiences with NMAT and how they were able to get a high NMAT score. So if you haven't already checked out my first video about NMAT, I will be linking it up here. And there, I will be teaching you the three basic things that you need to know about NMAT before you do proceed to studying it. <laughs> You have two things to plan for your study schedule, that is the actual reading itself for the topics that may come out in NMAT, and the second part would be a schedule for when you will be practicing and actually answering for the NMAT questions. Hi, Bob! Ah! What this does is it will give us a, like, a mop out of how we are going to go about it when studying for and math and also and also and also and also if you haven't checked it out yet i actually have a video link up there which shows you my tips and tricks on how you can effectively and efficiently schedule a study time even while on vacation the third step in here, we are going to read the resources that we have and we don't actually have to buy new resources for this and we can actually borrow from other people the resources that we need and we can just return after we have already read them. For me, I actually used my past high school resources or my past high school books, especially for biology and chemistry. Some college books that I used were biology and also organic chemistry. Now you may be wondering, how was I able to use those books when they are so thick? Like they are this thick. Well, short answer is I did not read everything. I just skimmed through the lessons and I just read the couple of the things that I don't know about. And also other resources that you can use and which I have also used a lot during my review was internet, especially for a part one of NMAT, which is math and perceptual equity and word association, reading comprehension, <laughs> and also postscript, hashtag PS. We can also use the learnings that we already had or we already gone through during college time because during our undergrad, we actually learn a lot of general sciences or general things that will be useful as well for NMAT. For example, lesson for social sciences during college. And for me, my pre-med is actually nursing and we actually had a lot of biology classes that we took as prerequisite for a major subject. Next thing I did was actually to read all the rationality in the MSA review books that I had. I got them through a discounted price and I got a bundle so I had a lot of review questions that I got to go through before I took the NMAT. I cannot show you my MSA review books that I used because I actually lent them to a friend. 
lending things to a friend is actually quite a big help to them. And if you are someone who has the capabilities to buy the review books and has the review books, then please, I urge you to also share yours to someone who might need it and they will be thanking you for it. What the fourth step does is it gives you a clear picture in how NMAP questions are actually structured so that you may know how to analyze them and also what the questions are looking for. Reading the rationale will enable you to skim through what you already know through the readings that you did or through the lectures that you've attended and it will just concretize those things for you. In the theory of repetition, this is actually a good way to make your learnings long term. For me, it served as a sort of cramming session because I actually did this only days before NMAP. And of course, lastly, and not at all the least, this is one of the most important things that you need to incorporate when you study for NMAP is to stay calm and just do your best. The best thing to do The best thing we can do right now is to do our best every single day that we are given, that we are blessed with, and to also pray to use what we have, be it non-physical things such as friends, family. We need their support and we also need to tell them our plans so that they will have an idea as to what is coming and so they will have an idea on how to help you with your journey. And you know, God bless, good luck, and I hope that I will see you as freshman med students in the near future and do your best. I know that you can do it. Believe in yourself. Uh, claim it, you know? I do hope the things that I share with you through my videos will be able to help you in your studies, in your journey as a student, as a med student, or I don't know, as a person to give you inspiration as well. So again, this is me, Marian, and if you ever want to chat about things, about how you're feeling, you can always DM me on Instagram or message me through Facebook, and I'll be glad to help. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what you think of this video, if it's it helpful, yes or no, and also what is your biggest fear when you think about taking the NMAT? Well, my biggest fear is getting bullied. <laughs> Share this with people like you who may need a little bit of push or a little bit of guidance on how you can self-review or you can enhance your review during NMAT. You can do this. Bye!